Hey everyone, Leaf here. Today I'm going to talk about thermometers. Now if you have children, you always want to make sure you have an accurate reading of what their temperature is if they're starting to run a fever. If it's a low temperature, they're going to be grumpy, but it's not necessarily something to be worried about. If it starts to get turn into a high temperature, you want to be able to treat it and you want to know when to treat it and how to treat it properly. To do that, you need to have a thermometer that's going to give you an accurate reading all the time. So, for discussion today, we have our $80 in-ear thermometer, which is a very similar unit to what a lot of hospitals use. There's a slight step up from what or from this one, but basically this is almost the exact same. And it's going up against today the Measure Pro non-contact forehead thermometer. This one I picked up on Amazon for eight bucks. So I've got an $80 thermometer versus an $8 thermometer. Which one's better? I don't know. Let's go find some test subjects and take some measurements and we'll find out for ourselves. Now before we actually find our test subjects, let's take a closer look at these two units. So we'll start off with the $80 unit. So you have your typical in-ear thermometer. You've got the interchangeable ear cones to keep any germs and earwax from getting either covering the sensor or being transferred from one patient to the other. You've got the button right here to release it by press, or which pushes this little red pin out. You've got your power button on off. Reads in Fahrenheit or Celsius. It has a memory. I currently have it set to Fahrenheit because that's what I'm more familiar with. When it's ready, it will beep and you get all your dashes. And when you're ready to measure, you push the button and this light flashes and it'll give you an audible tone a nice beef once it's finished measuring. Now if you don't have a nice seal against the ear it's not going to read 100% accurate so you want to make sure that it's nice and set in the ear. It doesn't have to be pushed hard but it has to be in snug. Now moving on to the contestant. The $8 touchless thermometer. So this one Looks fairly fancy. Comes in a nice, nice packaging, nice white look. Again, has a display, power button, start measure, battery cover, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So again, you turn it on. It beeps when it's ready to measure. This one's also set in Fahrenheit. It's got a memory to it. Now, on the end of it, you notice you've got your infrared sensor in the middle and you've got these two lights. Well, these two LED lights actually shine out at different angles. You can see this one is sort of aimed down, this one's sort of aimed up. Now, for this one to read properly, the two red lights that come out, you need to align so they're vertical, and that's going to give you an indication on whether you're close enough or not for the right distance. And you wanna have them stacked one on top of each other, which is gonna put you four centimeters away or a little over an inch and a half. Now, as you can see, you got the spots, they go together, move back and forth, they twist, and then you let go, it gives you a temperature. Simple as that. Obviously, you don't want to do this on your hand. It's rated to work on your forehead, and it says that it's calibrated to be corrected for your in-mouth temperature. Now, giving it a try here, prove that it works to what appears to be a reasonably accurate degree. Let's go find some subjects to actually test it out on. Alright, so let's start off with Ethan. Okay, so here out the way. The two red dots, one on top of each other. 100.7. Alright, so we'll try one more time. So make sure that it's going consistently. Once he's back up off the floor. Spots lined up again. Hmm. Low. I don't think your temperature is low. Let's try it again. Still low. Alright, so maybe consistency is an issue. Low. 
All right, well, we had one reading, so we'll put that to the side. Let's try the expensive one. Actually, first thing we got to do is we got to change the end. I don't know whose year this was in last. That's gross. That's one good thing about this one is it's got a changeable end, so if anybody has an ear infection, you don't transfer it from person to person. Okay, bud. Ready? The other one's not. Okay. Oh, you catch it. 98.9. Okay. Let's try the other ear. Ninety-eight point six. All right, just for good measure, let's give this one the benefit of the doubt. Try it again. I push the button and it turns off. Okay, so this has an auto off feature, which is nice. The batteries won't automatically die out. Ninety-eight nine. Well, that's a slight difference from the first one. So let's try it again. On consistency or lack thereof. 98.7. A little more consistent. All right, for our next contestant. Ready? You are low. <laughs> I don't think that's right. I don't think so. All right. So we'll. Give it a rest because apparently you use it too much and it gets tired. So, once again, put on a clean end. Not a good one. Turn it back on because it turns off a little faster than the other one. And here we go 98.3. So far, you're normal. See if you can stay normal. That's okay. 97.2. Let's try that one again. Ninety-eight six. That's a little more reasonable. Apparently, if you don't get it in nice and tight to the ear, it doesn't read quite right. So both sides reading fairly consistently. Let's go back to the touchless one. See how it does. There we go. You're still low. Let's try it again. Low. Third time's a charm? Maybe? Okay, it beeped. Ninety-six point four. Hmm, that's a little low. Let's try it again. Low. Are you too close. Okay, so the first thing that we've confirmed with this is it's very finicky. Low. Alright, so maybe for eight bucks, consistency not on par. Okay, last time. Still low. Alright. Well, we got some numbers. So. Now, looking at the numbers, I'd have to say that the consistency of the in ear thermometer, not particularly surprising. A lot more consistent than the touchless one. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that the touchless one isn't accurate, it just means that it didn't work particularly consistently compared to the in-ear model. Now the infrared one is not necessarily the first of its kind. There's been infrared thermometers for measuring temperatures for all kinds of different things for many years now. And there's also been forehead thermometers for many years. I remember as a child myself, we had a little strip that we put on, the, or that we had put on our forehead, 
and depending on how the color changed, that would tell us what our temperature was. So measuring temperature from your forehead is not uncommon. It's not as accurate as going in your ear, but it gives you a good idea of where things sit. Now, which one's better, the touchless one or the in-ear one? I say the in-ear one's gonna give you more consistent results. However, just because I got an $8 touchless one does not necessarily mean that the touchless ones aren't accurate. I have seen that there is a touchless thermometer with an equivalent price to the in-ear one, about 80 bucks, at the drugstore right now, but because I really don't have much need for it, I couldn't rationalize going to pick it up. Now, is it going to be more accurate? Uh, it's really hard to tell. The in-ear thermometers or a thermometer you put in your or you would put in your mouth or internal is going to give you more accurate reading overall because what you have on the outside of your body if you're sweating, that's going to adjust your temperature if you have poor circulation, you might not have the same temperature in different parts of your body or your skin or your face where you're actually testing. So if you want an accurate measurement, my recommendation is go with the in-ear thermometer, but I'm not saying that they're, all the other ones are bad. If they're on the market, they've been tested for consistency and they are proven to work, but from my own personal experience, I found this one is the most reliable and the one that I'd put my faith in. So, hope that helps you pick out a thermometer and helps make sure that your kids, when they do get sick, are getting medicine when they need it if they start running a fever. So, till next time, have a good one.